Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Crazy Duck here, and this is Jamming TV with KD. And tonight on, we have Soul Circus Cowboys. Going to bring them to you right here with two original songs. They're really rocking this new album and everything. But before we get to that, we're going to introduce you to my co-host today, Ozonius. How you doing, brother? Always, always good, Duck. Always, always good, Always good man. to be so on the stage with you. Doing. Big show today. We always have a big show. We, we have a big show this evening. We got a major show. Absolutely, Soul Circus Cowboys man. are blowing up the place. They're blowing up the charts. They're blowing New up New single coming man. out. We want to get to that. Oh, yes. We're going to. And don't forget Skilter in the back there. Yeah, we're going to have Skilter on a little bit later. Absolutely, man. Stuff, Great but, show. Hey, we're bringing that to you right here after this. Hey, we're Tampa Bay Zone Soul Circus Cowboys coming to you live with Jammin' TV and KD. Jamming TV with KD, I'm Crazy Duck, and tonight we're bringing you the Soul Circus Cowboys right here in our studio. So let's get to it real quick. How y'all boys doing today? Great, Crazy Duck. Oh, man, man. Oh, man. we got you, Billy man. McKnight, we got Jay, uh, Michael Bach, Jason Alfano, and Stefan down there. Hendigus. Yeah, it's a tough name, but we uh, keep going around anyway. <laughs> Stefan's <Steph's laughs> fun. <laughs> well, Leave you know, you guys <laughs> are on this new album, man. You got to tell me about it. We're fired up. This is our second CD. Uh, our first CD, Lay It Down, kind of got us known out there. And we went back in the studio and uh, cut That's The Way We Roll. And uh, that single, That's The Way We Roll, goes to radio March 31st. And uh, we're uh, really pushing hard on it, man. Well, I know you guys for, what, almost a year. You worked with uh, Jimmy Nichols and Frank Myers sure. on this album. You guys have been back and forth in Nashville and doing everything. What is it that really inspired you about this piece? songs that you picked? You know, uh, coming after uh, uh, Lay It Down, which was a really serious song, if you've ever been to a Soul Circus Cowboy show, there's a lot of energy. It's a lot of uh, fun letting loose and getting down. We wanted to uh, kind of show that part of us a little more. So we went and uh, found out songs about just getting down, having fun, and doing it all every day, and all night, all the time. It, guys. You, know? you know that this, nice. uh, you know, y'all brought us two original songs and everything, yeah. and uh, one's, uh, you know, you want to tell me a little bit about this first one? Well, the first one I think we're going to play is that, That's the Way We Roll. And uh, this song, uh, it was written by Frank Myers. And when I told him, we, we just all discussed uh, what we were going for. He, he uh, had a song almost done, and he presented it to us, and we played it a few times. And it just immediately felt like we owned it. Uh, and uh, so, you know, what, it, what it's about is, is, uh, is everyday people going out in the morning, taking care of their families, working really hard, but at night, they let it go, you know. They go out there and blow off steam, and but then the next day they're responsible. They come back and they go to work and we do it over again. It, it kind of just follows along the, the lyric of the song, and that that's what we're about, you know. Night after night, just kicking it, man. And that's the way you roll, man. And you guys have been rolling together for a while. <clears throat> I mean, I I know I was with y'all for you know nine months, helping and doing yeah. things with you guys, and now y'all have even progressed to. Uh, Touring, you know, national, and y'all fixing to do some more touring. Yeah, and about that, I got a, I got a great bunch of guys with me. Uh, Mike, Jason, and Steph, and of course Terry Cole had to leave. Uh, he's the hardest working man in the business, and uh, but uh, these guys are solid as they come. We're a brotherhood here, and so it makes it real easy to go out and travel. We, we've uh, been lucky to go all the way out west to Wyoming, South Dakota. We have Sturgis this year. We have Florabama, which is huge for us. Uh, it's a mullet toss. I don't know if you ever heard about that, but it's a big deal. In, it is a big in, deal, in, yeah. In music and uh, so, you know, and then of course, <clears throat> many trips to Nashville and uh, it's exciting right now. And uh, I feel blessed. I think Florabama and, out, and Nashville, they're coming up soon, right? Yeah, I mean, we're Florida in a couple Bama, weeks, right? That's, uh, that's at the end of April. And, uh, you know, I, know I, th I think they have tens of thousands for this uh, uh, event that starts uh, in the middle of the week and goes through Sunday and then Busting it right up to Nashville to play there again. And awesome, man. Good yeah. stuff. Nice. Fun stuff. That's really know? great, man. <clears throat> you know, what is it like to be the Soul Circus Cowboy? Tiring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiring. But a, a lot of fun, but uh, a lot of gigs. You know, I, it, we, we are coming to a point where we, we've moved up on a level and we, we still have 
levels that we want to get to. We, we see ourselves big dreams and we, we want to pursue them, but there's still a lot of trenches. And uh, you know, like I said, and that comes back to uh, the guys you work with, you have to be able to survive the trenches, the tough stuff. It's the everyday grind. Um, and uh, you know, but that being said, we still meet people every single time we hit play a show that we haven't met before. We make new friends and we grow. So the trenches or the big show, they're, they're all the same thing when it comes down to it. And you just gotta give everything you got. So it can get tiring working sometimes seven straight days, uh, this week uh, 10. And, uh, but uh, we sure have done a really Well, I know you guys have played two shows in days and stuff, and y'all are really, really busy band. Yeah. You're really getting out there and you're really promoting. Y'all yeah. have done a lot of great things with this new album and getting it out there. And this first song, you know, that's the way you roll. And uh, you're gonna, is it going to be on the... Uh, it is. It goes to radio March 31st. We've got two great promoters out of Nashville. I'm going to go ahead and give them a plug because they're give really plugs, good. Man. All access. We're glad to have you on board. <clears throat> and the Spin Doctors. Uh, these are strong promoters who have really got our back on this. And we've been down that road before, so we know how hard it is to get in rotation at radio. But we're, we have full confidence. And uh, so, you know, be listening for us. And, and to all the people that listen to your show, if you like the song, Please call your local radio station and ask them to play it because it, it really makes a difference. One I want to make sure make I'm going to plug the radio. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're Soul Series Cowboys, oh, yeah. Soul Series Cowboys. You know, uh, yeah. that's the way we roll and everything. But right now, we're going to sit there and take y'all to this song that we're talking about. It's called That's the Way We Roll with the Soul Series Cowboys on Jamming TV with KD.
Soul Circus Cowboys with the way we roll. Let me tell you, that's a bad song. I loved it and everything. We got them right here in the studio. Man, thank you. You guys are just yeah. awesome, man. The energy y'all have, the the, uh, the vocals, man. Y'all's vocals with Terry, Michael Bach, and you. Y'all yeah. like the <coughs> harmony of harmonies. We right? appreciate that. Yeah, and I love it, man. It's just watching you guys play. I love the energy on the stage. I love this song, the way you roll, man. Yeah, thank you. You know, what That's was it like when we you first <laughs> seen that song or heard that song? What was it like? What made you really think about it? When we first got it, it was a really uh, uh, very unproduced demo, and it was pitched to us because of what we were looking for as an act. And so we worked it up amongst ourselves and, and kind of brought it to life. And now you're, you're We saw it. the fun that it was going to be. We, we, from the demo, we saw yeah. the end result. We knew it was going to be fun, you know. That, and we thought people would like it and, you know, want to roll with us, you know, on that, you know, song. So man, that, I'm telling you, and that's what y'all named the album, right? That's that the way is, we roll. Uh, it it kind of just follows suit, you know. In the right, title that's Billy track. McKnight and the Soul Circus Cowboys. Uh, that's the way we roll. Y'all got to get out there and get that album. It's freaking awesome. We're gonna have uh, be bringing it to you here in a little bit, where y'all can go get it, you know, but. I'm gonna tell you, man. You got Michael Bach right here beside you. What up? You know, what's up, man? You're the bass player. Yeah. Been the bass player for a while. Getty Lee wannabe. You know, what is it like? <laughs> what was it like to learn the bass for the way we roll? Well, it's a challenge learning um, almost any of these songs, trying to sing over the top of the bass part, because a lot of times the bass part doesn't really follow what the vocals are doing. So you got to kind of separate yourself. So you got to be, you got to be pretty good. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, so I wasn't going all that far. Michael Bach, what is it like that. to be you know known in like uh, most of the country musician bands around as one of the baddest bass players <laughs> for? In the Tampa Bay area. Well, that's a kind of a humbling thing to say because there's an awful lot of badass bass players in this area. You know area. what? Every time yeah. I mention someone and everything, I say, well, who do you think is a good bass player? They always say Michael Bach. Okay. Absolutely. Michael Bach, man. You know, and that, that to me is, you know, an honor and stuff. And, you know, just to hear your voice. And, man, people love you, man. You're just Well, thank true. you, man. Thank you. You know, you've always been there. You was a long time ago. I've known you for a long time. And, you know, and you just really, your vocals, too. You got strong vocals. You're you're a good backup and lead singer. You know, joking about the Getty Lee wannabe thing, but it's kind of true. I mean, the guy sings and plays plays his ass off, and that's kind of where I learned how to do that and to be able to separate the two. And it's been a, uh, it's been it's a lot of good. It's done done me a lot of good over the years to be able to do that in different acts. And I mean, what, how you feel about being part of the Soul Circus? Oh, it's Cowboys. awesome. I'm having a great time. It's wonderful. Yeah. Ain't it? I'd, uh, I'd actually had taken a year off of playing music, or so, a year or so off of playing music before I got with these guys, and I got with the project, and I thought this thing already has some legs, and especially over this past year with working with Frank Myers and the new songs, and then doing the traveling we've been doing, it's. Oh man, and it's, Frank Myers and, and Jimmy Nichols, you know, the other guys are really good, great songwriters. Oh, they're amazing. <coughs> you know, they're Grammy amazing. award winning, so mm -hmm. uh, you know it was good. It was good to get a chance to work with them on this project. It was real nice. Jason Alfano. Yes, sir. Drummer. Yes. One of the greatest drummers of Tampa Bay area, for sure. Yes. I've known him for a long time as well. And everything, what was it like? What's it like to be part of Soul Circus Cowboys? Uh, it's every day. It's the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. It's what we do. I've been waiting Wait. for, you know, those horns to grow out of that banner because we're <laughs> so much, you know. <laughs> <There's> some <coughs> smoke. Smoking or something, yeah. Maybe we ought to get a thing made like that and have some smoke. You know, that <laughs> would be, be pretty cool. And yeah, I, I love it though. I mean, you know, it, it, you know, it's my passion, and you know, I'm a very driven person, and this is where I direct all my my drive. You know, this is first, second, and third in my life. So, man, you know. I'm all, I'm proud of all you guys. It's good to hear, uh, man. Thanks. And everything. And now, Stephen, you're the uh, you're 
Rhythm guitar? Or guitar. Or lead. Lead, guitar. lead guitar. Left, lead, lead, left hand. Left handed left. Oh, yeah. Southpaw guitar. Well, tell me about it. <laughs> the rare <laughs> Southpaw. <clears throat> What is it like to be part of Soul Circus Company? I love it. It's the best band I've ever been in. I mean, this lineup is easily the best group of guys I've worked with. And, we uh, love you too, man. Know, man. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> He's our buddy. You know, I've been playing with Billy off and on over the years, and um, you know, he asked me, me to come too. back. Like, and, and Jason, actually. <laughs> Michael, I just met joining the band. But uh, I've known uh, Billy and Jason for several years and played with them in various you know, clubs and whatnot. And so, but no, it's great. I mean, I've been back in the band since almost a year, and it's awesome. I mean... I don't know what to say. It's great. We it's love out. having you. Yeah, I know, yeah. But, yeah, the Nashville, you know, all the traveling we've been doing and stuff has been great. Well, what was it like to be on probably one of, probably one of the greatest albums that's out there right now? I, I actually go online and say I think it's the best album that's oh, out there. Thank you. Wow. You know, and, and you got, uh, what, six or seven songs on it? We've got nine. Nine songs? We've got nine. Since I wow. saw you last, we added three more to it. Wow. Yeah. What songs were those? Tell me about a little bit about uh, that. Well, we wrote the theme song to our buddies over at Born to Ride, and okay. so that's on there. Uh, uh, Hard to Handle, Easy to Hold is on there. Um, let's see what else. We, we did the did. dance mix, too. We put a dance mix of Love's Like a Rodeo on there, which is just a great it's a party leader. song. So, you know, this, the, the, record's, the record's really a lot of fun, uh, you know, if, if you would. And let me plug this real quick, as long as I got it on TV. If you want to hear us, if you go to soulcircuscowboys.com, we'll give you That's the Way We Roll for free. Just sign in. We'll give it to you for free because we want to get out there. We want, when That's we go great. to another city, yeah, we want people to kind of be recognizing what we do. And uh, so, yeah, soulcircuscowboys.com, you get the That's the Way We Roll for free. Free. Straight up. And you know the record's complete when you got the dance mixed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, you guys are, you know, like I said, man, it's just totally awesome. You know, and, and I love y'all's music. Thanks. Man. Thanks, thanks so much. So thank you. Yeah. But you brought us a second song. Did now, you know, think about country music, southern rock. I mean, if you write about whiskey and you write about women mm -hmm. you, you've got it right there so this next song <laughs> is called she's a lot like whiskey she's a lot uh, like know, whiskey I, now, I, you know i'm a jack daniels my, a drinker myself so you know and i got a really hot wife so if i think about that and i mix the two together it was very easy sing for me just putting the both in perspective <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking about your wife, Corey, I just want to give her a plug to everybody's <laughs> wives and stuff. You know, I talk about this a lot, how rough it is on, uh, you know, musicians and his wives and girlfriends <coughs> and stuff, because they travel a lot, sure. you know, and let me tell you, man, Corey is awesome. She's and awesome. And you're oh, one yeah. heck of a man to be able to. I guess, I guess you could call me Lucky, man. It's St. Patty's Day. I found that pot of no, gold. Lucky's here. Corey's like a, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think hey, a, a, you know, a name yeah. for her yet, yeah. man. But she is such an Thank awesome you. lady. Appreciate I love her to death. You know, and she took, you know, you got your son. Oh, uh, yeah, it's and, been And, man, great. that was a big fight for yeah. you, and I'm so yeah. proud of you Thank for that, man. You. Jumping and, hurdles. You know, and she jumped right in there to be the mother. And Incredible. And I tell you, man, that's awesome. But this next song is, uh, she's called... Right here on Jamma TV with Soul Circus Cowboys, she's a lot like whiskey. Fire burning in 
Heck yeah, man. That was a she's a lot like whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Soul Service Cowboys right here on Jamma TV, man. I can't believe it. I love that song. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah awesome, man. We're right here with Soul Service Cowboys in our studio. And I'm telling you, you guys, dude, man, she's a lot like whiskey. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's got a little <laughs> sultry, warmer, maybe darker edge to it, you know, and... Uh, we love playing it. That gets I kind of feel like I want to make love to it. Absolutely. When, when yeah. we play that uh, uh, right now, you know, we, the, the records just came out. We've only been playing the songs for for five, six months. And when we return to places we play, people say, are you playing She's a Lot Like Whiskey? When are you playing that? So that, that kind of feedback lets us know the strength of that song. And we're excited about that. Well, harmonies were fantastic, by the way. Yeah. I had to chime in on that. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, Thank I do, man. I mean, I got some singers. Three of you guys singing that one piece, <laughs> that uh, B section there together. Yeah. I Thanks, mean, it, it really sticks in your head. Right. Yeah. Shout out to Terry Cole and couldn't yeah. be here, but yeah. 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 Terry part Cole. of that harmony. Terry Cole, Good we folks. love you, man. And, uh, you know, we know you had to run to your show, but hey, man, we just want you to know we still love you. And we're going to keep talking you up, man. Good job. <laughs> You know, but now you got uh, your a management team and, and the whole nine yards. We right? do. We're yeah. building Craig Monroe, and oh. uh, and we got Kismet Nashville and Indie Records working together with, uh, like I said, the Spin Doctors and All Access. We got a great publicist and PLA Media out of Nashville. So you know, even though we're a Tampa band and we love that authenticity, you have to have Music Row behind you in, in this business. And uh, we have linked all ourselves together, and it's a great team. We we feel strong about 2014. Well, I'll tell you, man, um, y'all want us to find out anything about the Soul Circus Cowboys, you go to soulcircuscowboys.com and, you know, look up their new shows, their next shows, follow them guys, you're going to want to because I tell you, I love them, man. I've loved them for over a year now. I've been, you know, we all worked together for a little while and we had, you know, like my new show and they got their big thing going, you know, I'm telling you. Soul Circus Cowboys are hard to be beaten in this town or anywhere. And if you go out and see their show, you're going to find out why they're number one in the Tampa Bay area. Thank you. you know, That's a nice comment. Telling, yeah. You guys, man, so what's next? Is uh, Y'all got a show coming up this uh, next week? Yeah, we've got a lot of shows. We're doing some traveling, uh, you know, and uh, we still play the local scene. It's always the most fun because we get to play for our friends. Uh, and so that gives us the, uh, you know, the good pick-me-up spirit to go out there and, and then play for people we're just meeting. So, you know, we're, we're slammed, and I'm happy to be slammed, you know. And I'm happy you guys came on the show and doing this Thank with you. us. Thanks for having us. You know, and you guys are all at rock. We do a lot of our own social media. Uh, we like to be hands-on. So if uh, you guys are social media friendly, go to Facebook, like us, uh, t talk to us. We, one of us will talk directly back to you. We like to, you know, we like to be in touch with the people who are listening to us and be hands-on. It means a lot to us. So it wouldn't be somebody else or we don't hire out people that are doing the uh, publicity for us. We're talking to you directly. And so if you'd like to hear us or you'd like to say anything or make a comment, one of us will get back to you, and, and uh, you know, one on one is good for us. Okay. Love a man that answers his own phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Right on. Yeah, that's, that's all right right on. on. Hi, I'm Billy McKnight. I'm the lead singer of the Soul Circus Cowboys. Really happy to be on the show today. Really looking forward to you guys hearing our music and uh, becoming our friend. We're going to see you at a city near you this year. Go 2014. Thanks. Michael Bach with the Soul Circus Cowboys bass guitar and uh, lead and backing vocals. Uh, we hope you liked our show. Please check us out on Facebook. We want as many friends as we can get out there. Thanks a lot, y'all. 
Hey everybody, it's Jason Alfano, drummer for the Soul Circus Cowboys. Really happy to be here on the show, and I hope to see you real soon at one of our shows. Hi, I'm Stefan, lead guitar with Soul Circus Cowboys. We're going to be coming to some towns near you, and uh, look forward to seeing it. Uh, check us out on our website, www.soulcircuscowboys.com, and also on our Facebook page. Hey, this is Crazy Duck, and this has been Soul Circus Cowboys here on Jamming TV with KD. And let me tell you, go to their website, soulcircuscowboys.com, or go to Facebook and check them out. I'm telling you, you come out and see these boys. Freedom. It's a show that you will definitely not want to miss. And you can go to their website and get that free download right now. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Love you guys. Be right back with Seltzer. Nice. Boom. Right now. Good job, man. What? Hey, welcome back to Champion TV with KD. Let me tell you what, that was Soul Circus Cowboys, but joining us right here, right now, Sultan, in our studio. How you boys doing, man? Good. Doing fine. Pretty good. Thank you. Yeah, Great. So tell me a little bit about y'all's music. Um, uh, we kind of sit in the alternative rock genre. Alternative um, rock. Very lyric-based, uh, heavy guitar-based rock. And you, you play what? I play guitar and sing. Yeah, you play and sing. You can sing. Uh, a little bit, yeah, I try. A little man, bit. let me tell you what, he can sing. <laughs> he can I've sing. seen this man sing. Yeah, he I He is to. awesome. He, you do it well. All you guys are freaking awesome on stage. I've been Thanks. to y'all shows. That's, you know, so tell me, what is next for Silter? Um, well, we have two CDs that we've recorded so far. We're going to work on a third. Um, we got about two songs tracked, um, so we still got What's a little, little bit of ways. First two CDs. First two CDs. The first one was in the beginning. In the beginning. Okay. Um, we were in high school when we recorded it. The second one's Legacy to Die For. It's about three years old now, and then of course this new one. Uh, there's no name for it, but we'll call it Procrastination for now. Here we go. Procrastination. Procrastination. <laughs> so I want you to introduce your band to everybody. Over here we got Kyle. Kyle he plays guitar, uh, bass guitar. Bass yep. guitar. Aaron. Aaron. Play guitar. Play guitar. guitar and I'm Brad. I'm the drummer. You're the drummer, man. So am, yeah. You've been playing drums and for Seltzer. What's it like? Man? Uh, well, I've been with him for six years now. So uh, when I joined, you know, I heard the music before and fell in love with it. And then they just asked me to join. So it's been great ever since. Yeah. Nice. Staying busy. So being behind these guys and mostly you know, helping keeping the guy and keeping them tight and everything, how's it yeah. feel to be part of these albums? Oh, it's great. I mean, I, I'm in a band with the best songwriter in the in the world. I think um, you know, they're phenomenal musicians all around. So it's well, a hell of a plug, man. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, lots yeah, of the best songwriter in the world. I mean, on our stage, man. Doc. Heck yeah, man. He's, he's, he's putting it on him, man. That is. <laughs> so. <clears throat> You brought us two songs. Tell Correct. us about the first one. Uh, the first song we're going to do is called It Ends Tonight. It's uh, going to be on the new CD. Um, and uh, it's a little bit of a personal story um, about adultery uh, from a friend of ours, kind of was the inspiration of the song. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a very personal song, but it's also a good hard rocking tune. Adultery. I guess if you stay single, you ain't got to worry about that, do you? I, I reckon that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about single. Well, it's uh, good you passed it off on your buddy, too, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pass it all on him, man. Right. So what is it that uh, you guys see yourself doing in the next five years, hopefully be in? Um, I don't know. We just, we just want to have fun. If five years from now we're in the same spot, if we're still having fun, you know, that's, that's where we wanted to be in the first place. Um, Thank you. Got goals, though. Absolutely. Have yeah, goals. we got goals and, and go on things. tour. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, we've just been progressively getting a little more successful, you know, one step at a time. You know, paying our dues and uh, trying to earn respect in the music, local music community. You know, there's a lot of great bands, and I'm bringing them to them every week here on Jam and TV with KD. You know, and you guys, when I invited y'all on here, you know, y'all inspired me with y'all's, you know, your technique, your show. You know, and to me, a show is very important. You know, anybody can get up there and just stand there and play. Like Soul Circus Cowboys, they put on a show. You guys put on a show, and that's what's important. And you mingle with the crowd. Mm -hmm. You get involved with them. You know, and, and hopefully that other bands that watch the show will learn these things. But what is it that you guys, you know, inspired y'all to put on the shows that y'all put on? Is it the crowd, the people? You tell me. Absolutely it, the crowd, the fans. Yeah. They're so loyal. 
we just want to put on a great show for them, you know? It's wow. all about them. Yeah, it's really like the crazier the fans get, the crazier we're going to get, you know? The more heat that they're giving us, the more heat we're going to give them, the better show we're going to give them. We fuel off the crowd. We feed off of it. And right. It just fuels us to put on a really good performance and really we're nothing give it to them It's a sign of a good entertainer, man. Yeah. Uh, if there's two people there that are having a blast, you're going to play for those That's two right. people. Yep. If you there's know, 2,000 people there that are having a blast, you're going to play you're for those 2,000 right. people. That's right. And, and you're going to get the same quality, whether it's a room full of five or a room full of 5,000. I agree. We're going to play our hearts out either way. Yep. Well, how is it that people can find y'all's music? Um, through our website, SiltherRocks.com. It's uh, S-C-I-L-T-E-R, Rocks.com. Um, we just put a new single up called Candy Cane. You can download that. And there's also a couple of free songs available, Living Full, which is an older demo that we recorded probably about five years ago. But it's still a good song. I just heard Candy Cane last night. Okay. I just did my homework on you guys last night, and I tell you, what a great piece of music. And you donate some of that, right? Yes. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, we... Uh, our, uh, our father is uh, in a little bit of a, a tough time in his life, and we wanted to take all the proceeds and, and give it to him. Um, he, he runs sound for us at every show, and uh, even if he's not running sound, he, he's there helping us out every, every step of the way. And he's the fifth member of this band. And uh, yeah, I mean, we just want to do everything we can to help him out. He's a disabled vet, and uh, you know, anyone who purchases that song, the proceeds will go to him. That's that's well, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they end up forgetting about who actually helps bands run. And like you just said, the fifth man or the sixth man, the ones that are behind the scenes, you know, from the sound guys. And, you know, we got to give them guys some condolence because, you know, they put a lot of time and effort in getting you guys tuned in and dialed in and making you guys sound the way you sound every show. And the that's unsung the heroes. And you say your father's the one that does that for you. Yes. Man, that must be awesome. How does it feel to work with your dad in that way? I mean, it, it just feels like uh, like when we were growing up, you know, that's all we've ever known. So it, uh, everything runs smoothly. And, uh, you know, we all know, you know, what to do. Was your dad to always expect. a sound man in his life or what, it was something that he just got? With you? Uh, he was a drummer. He used to play for a lot of rock and roll bands when we were growing up. So all of our music inspiration came from him and uh, all the bands he was in. Um, and then, of course, we started our own. He's actually the first drummer of Silter, the first show ever that we did. We, uh, we played at a Flapjack Festival. And we won uh, second place. How old were you? Uh, shoot, I was in maybe ninth grade. Nice. Maybe like 15, time, 16, something like that. Pops behind the skins. Yeah, you <laughs> love that, man. It, it must be <laughs> awesome, though, to be able to really enjoy your dad being part of everything in your, your career. You know? yeah. mm -hmm. He's been That's there so. supporting us from the beginning. Oh, well, man, yeah. I've met the guy, you know, and, and every time I've seen him, he's been very, really, very great, very honest, and, uh, you know, friendly. You know, and he really cares about you guys, and you know, and I can see the the passion he has for your band. Mm -hmm. You know, and that that hey, that says a lot about you too, right there. You know, to have that many people, and I've seen your your crowds of fans, and you know, and you guys just bring it, man. And that's one of the things that I like to inspire about music is, you know, when you go out to see a band, you don't want to just go see a boring band. You want to see a band that's going to bring it, and you guys bring it. Thanks. Appreciate you know? that. So this first song that we're fixing to go to, you know, um, who wrote this song? Uh, yeah, I write the lyrics for. You write. You wrote the song. Most of the songs, yeah. And all y'all work together on putting them. Uh, yeah, yeah. We uh, we haven't really get a, we don't really get a lot of time to practice lately because we play so many shows. But uh, you know, this is one of the last songs that we actually got to piece together, you know, in a rehearsal, and it's one of our tighter songs. Well, mate, what inspired you to write this song? Uh, yeah, it's the story of, of a friend of ours. Um, and uh, had a oh, had a bad relationship, and uh, yeah, it, it's a it's a unique story, but it's also a positive, you know, outcome. Well, we're gonna go right here on Jam and TV with KD. This is Silter, with it ends tonight. This song's called "It Ends Tonight." i 
has a double line. She's a girlfriend and a wife, and she won't tell them how easily she lies. She'll look too many eyes and say she loves me. Oh, he doesn't know. It's just how easily he lies, yo. Oh, she doesn't know. Just how soon she will roll Cause there's something in the right tonight Something wrong straight from the start A devastation didn't lack this time It's beauty, it's a way in the heart But till you dare pretend This betrayal is not gonna end And I've got some news for you Here tonight Have broken it apart well, everything you are And you must face this You don't heal a broken heart It's too ugly of a scar You wait till it's faded Oh, he doesn't know That for him the grass is greener And on the other side First he's gotta leave her Cause there's something in the right tonight Something wrong straight from the start A devastation been like this time It's guilty, it's a way in the heart But still you dare pretend This betrayal is not gonna end But I've got some news for you Get in tonight Have you ever seen a woman so desperate To hide from her husband as she fool around? Have you ever seen a man so broken? Broken from the inside out He cannot help it but to blame himself I just of all the last time I hope you're happy now Oh, he doesn't know that for him the grass is greener on the other side. But first he's got to leave her. Cause there's something in the rise tonight. Something wrong straight from the start. A devastation didn't like this time. It's gonna eat its way in the heart. But still you can't pretend. This betrayal is not gonna end But I've got some news for you It's tonight Hey, that was Silter right there on Jamming TV with KD Let me tell you, that was an awesome song Let me say, it was awesome Silter's awesome, they're here We brought them to you Right here on Jamming TV with KD Boys, man, guys Awesome Thank you Thank you, Thank you. Oh, man, let me tell you, you guys are really bring in it, and I just, wow, it's, it's crazy, man. That's wild. You wrote that song for real? Yes. Yeah? <laughs> yep. Man, I see what you're saying there, brother. Yeah. You know, bad as I am. Uh, so what inspires you with your vocals, or with your wordings of your songs? I don't know. I mean, uh, growing up in high school, my, my, uh, my number one asset you know in all the classes I was taking was just my writing I hated reading but writing was always the inspiration and uh, I, I always approach every song I do as a writer first I write my lyrics I write the melody that I want to sing it and then we try to put the guitars to it and that leads to us having to build music around lyrics so it, we kind of steer away from the four four note chords um, and uh, you know just you know makes an interesting combination of you know what I put into a song and every song that I play, I, I want it to sound great just with me and a guitar, you know, without that, you know, the aspect of the entire band as a picture. If you take it all away, what is that song worth? And, uh, when, of course, when these guys do play with me, it just makes it that much better. Real quick, Motley Crue kiss. Motley Crue. 
Molly Crew. Crew. Molly Crew. Molly Crew. That shows inspiration. It has some of y'all's music, because I tell you, this, when I've seen y'all on live, I've heard Motley Crue, and I've heard some, like, a little bit of Motley Crue, a little bit of Kiss, some little bit of Godsmack, some little bit of, you know, uh, Judas Priest type styles and stuff, man. And is most of those inspire y'all when y'all was younger? Yeah, I mean, I, I really got into Styx, Kansas, Guns N' Roses, uh, Def Leppard, Journey, um, Journey. That's a great one. Journey, yeah, Kansas. rock and roll, man. All local Journey. bands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's, vocal yeah, that's one thing that draws me to music is, <clears throat> you know, the three-part harmonies. You know, definitely the the vocal aspect of the song. Now you said earlier something about you know, you're married. Yes. How long have you been married? Uh, almost five years. Man, I tell you what, how in the world did you get her to the altar? I'm sorry. Did you have to chain her and lock her and oh, chain no. her? Oh no. no. Nope. <laughs> Skateboard. Yes. Yes. How'd how you know? It. it was actually the swivel thing. The swivel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All y'all married or? Nope. No. No. I am single and free to mingle. Oh, single or free to mingle? How about you, man? That's single. the way it's gonna single, be. Single. You single down there yeah. too? Yeah. 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 Favorite drink. Starting with you. Drink. Yeah. Mountain Dew, man. Screaming Nazi. Screaming Nazi. I love me some beer. Bud Light. Bud Light. Yeah. Jack and Coke. Jack and Coke. So y'all make sure y'all get out there and. Uh, Buy these guys. Buy these men a drink when you go to the Get these guys a drink show. for sure, man, and everything. So, this next song y'all brought us, tell us a little bit about that, man. Uh, this song was off of our second CD, Legacy to Die For. It's called Overdrive. Overdrive. Um, and yeah, in the lyrics of the chorus, it says it's time to kick life into overdrive. It's just a, you know, a bring yourself up kind of song. Uh, very positive, and uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool, upbeat tune. Well, man, I'm looking forward to that here in just a moment here and everything. So what was it like to make uh, the music for Overdrive? Um, yeah, it was great. Um, actually, Aaron wasn't in the band at the time. Yeah. We had finished all the, all the music and everything for the song, but when he did join the band, we went back in and, and recorded the lead ride. That was something that he, he brought to the song, which really you know, kind of puts icing on the cake, if you will. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it was, we uh, recorded at Sweet Spot Studios Sweet in Spot. Seminole, Florida. Sweet Spot It was Studios. produced by uh, Jim Fox and uh, Dana Piper. Oh, wow. Jim Fox does a lot over there, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's a great guy, and uh, yeah, he, he's got a really nice We've studio. We've done some shows in the past, and Jim Fox always seems to come up in a lot of the producing situations for Sweet yeah. Spot. Yeah, he's they got sure a garage does. in his backyard that he decked out in his own studio. It's pretty they cool. They have a lot, of, a lot of friends, a lot of connections. When we were recording uh, one of our songs called coming to get you, Lance Quinn, who produced Slippery When Wet for Bon Jovi, came in and visited us in the studio and gave us a couple tips and stuff like that. Well, that had awesome. to be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, we, we got to meet a lot what of cool people. a huge record that was. Yeah. yeah. Slippery really, When Wet. Yeah. It did all right, I yeah. believe. It, it sold a few copies. Yeah. Not as many as ours, so. All right. Right now we're going to bring you Overdrive from Silter right here on Jammin' TV with KD. It's a hard line when you live it down. I didn't think I'd ever turn it around, but I did. I just listened to my heart. The opportunity was not yet. I just didn't want to miss it. The blood has been shed, the sins of mankind all ain't to rest no more. Shall I feel the cross of quit? We're sitting on a miracle. 
to the cross couldn't pay it all. Yeah. Still we want to run our misery oh. to bring us in that is impossible. I think it's time to kick life into overdrive. Welcome back to Jamin TV with KD. That was Shelter with Overdrive. We got him right here for you in the studio. Man, dude, what the heck? How'd you? No. Awesome song, bro. Awesome song. Thank you. Big crunchy guitars. Loving I'm loving it, guys. Love man, some crunch. Dude, the hardening <clears throat> on the drums, guitars, the rhythm, man. You got a heck of a mind, bro. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that makes it so tight, we actually all play drums. And uh, I play keyboard and, and other instruments as well, but you know the fact that we're all drummers, we, we you know we appreciate a steady beat, and uh, oh. that's one of the things that makes us so tight when we play live. So you all play drum, all play drums. We can all and play you drums. Play guitars and mm -hmm. what other instruments you play? I can play all kinds of stuff. piano. Um, I play a mean didgeridoo. Every, everybody here plays play really? instruments. Yeah, I play a mean didgeridoo. Yeah. Wow. All kinds: piano, yeah. saxophone, a little bit of trumpet. Um, you know, I play bass guitar. Brad plays some guitar. Yeah, yeah. Do y'all ever try to switch it all up with everything when y'all do Yeah, you know show? what? We kind of have fun. Uh, whenever we do get to practice, it's not very often, but when we do get to practice, um, yeah, we like to switch it up a little bit and just have fun with it. Actually, wow. just, just last night we are playing a show and we do a song called Get Lucky. Probably haven't heard of it. It's only been on every radio station ever for the past couple of weeks, but... Uh, it has, yes. yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, he hops up on behind the drums and, you know, the drummer and, and Aaron both play a little little solo, it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, a little man. solo so thing worked out, yeah. yeah. So where y'all be playing this weekend coming up? Um, our, our next show will be March 29th at the Hard Rock Cafe. Oh, wow. Um, nice show. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great gig. venue. Nice and, Saturday uh, night. Yep, Saturday night. Uh, Love the stage. Saturday. How'd you land that spot, man? It is. Um, yeah. Last year we were in the, uh, the Battle of the Bands uh, for the Hard Rock and with Reverb Nation, and uh, we, we we passed the voting. Uh, we made it to the final The voting spot. round. Yeah, we were number one in voting, and then we got to perform live, and we eliminated the first round and the second round, and then we didn't. We almost made it to the finals, but we didn't well, make it to the national. What finals. are y'all thinking about these uh, Hard Rock allegations that are coming up for, uh, you know, that's been going on for a couple of Hard Rocks around here? Orlando, uh, Tampa, I think just they just caught Tampa and now they got another one about setting these uh, contests that they put together. What do y'all think about that? Uh, I don't know. I mean, everything that we did was legit. I mean, that's what I, I mean, know, it was a great experience. I've always heard great things with Hard Rock Cap. Always you know, have, yeah. You know, yeah. and that's why when I'm seeing these posts and these news reports and stuff, I'm like, really? I don't think that, you know, they would do something yeah, like that. They're no, too big yeah, you know, there's, you, there's some people that are kind of bitter about it different bands and whatnot that are kind of iffy about it. But honestly, we went in there. Um, in Tampa, we did get the finalist spot out of the Tampa. There was probably 300 bands at the beginning of the whole competition. And we made it to the finalist spot. And honestly, it, it turned out really good for us because they, they take these local bands and they put them on a legendary stage. You know, they make you feel like VIP. 
They, they put you backstage, they, they feed you, they get you whatever you want. They even uh, they give you gifts and, and all kinds of things. They really, they really make it a nice experience for you. And you get, on a, you get to go on a legendary stage in front of tons of people and you get to play your original song. So I think it's, it's something good that they're doing for the local scene. See, that's what I, I'd always say, and that's why I support Hard Rock Cafe, mm -hmm. because they really, you know, like Soul Search Cowboys play there. You guys play there, Amanda Drake and the Barn Burners. You know, um, I know a bunch of bands. I can probably sit here for an hour right. and talk about different bands. You know, so I don't, you know, see why people got to take that probably didn't get accepted, you know, and they're probably trying to make a big thing out of it. You know, and trying to hurt people, is karma, and you're going. It's going to come back on you, you know. And I think that whoever's starting that little rumor or whatever about Hard Rock needs to just chill. Well, we got to thank our fans for that one too. Yeah, yeah we absolutely. We had a lot. We call them Silter Army. We don't call them fans. We call them Silter Army. They're our family, and they're our support system. And you know, they're every bit a part of the band and this. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a tribute to the success that we've had. And uh, yeah, we, we we love them. And you've got people that come out to every show, no matter how far it is. Um, they're, they're right there, front and center, dancing and singing the lyrics to every song. You know, a matter of fact, uh, since you said that, we actually had a guy that was going to book us some show over in St. Croix, one of the Virgin Islands. And we had some of the Silter Army already lining up their plane tickets so they can come out to the That's show. Impressive. They were trying wow. to see if they had vacation time, and they were going to take vacation <laughs> with us. And Save up and go down there with it's it. It's just really cool to see the dedication that yeah. these, these uh, our, our family brings to us, you know, the Silter yeah. Army. They're, they're so dedicated. They're very inspiring. Yeah. Well, you guys are still a young band, man, in, in a lot of ways. And you guys have been together for a while, but you're still kind of young. And sure. you got a lot of growth. And, you know, and your, your music getting played on radio. You're getting out there, and your fan base is building. And, you know, and, and I'm always excited when I'm able to come to one of y'all shows because, you know, I'm... I love going to bands and shows. I love. I see a lot of them, you know. And y'all guys know that I've been all over the world. Yeah. It seems like anymore with bands up, but you know, when I'm able to come see Salter, I'm happy, you know, because I know I'm about to be able to see a good show, yeah. you know. And matter of fact, y'all got a show coming up here. Uh, this uh, you said Hard Rock Cafe. Hard Rock Cafe on March 29th. What's after that? Oh, let's see. I got a couple shows in April. Um, Anything local? Yeah, yeah, we're doing a place called CG's Hideaway. It's in our hometown, Zephyr Hills. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's a small little club, but you know, we, we pack it with our friends and family and stuff like that. You got it's a rocking again. town, Zephyr Hills. Yeah, there's sure a, lot of, a lot of good bands. It's a great from, music town. I wasn't can, real familiar with it, but mm -hmm. yeah, getting up there a little bit, lutes in that area. Yeah, our, our goal is... Uh, great music circle. You know, mm -hmm. I want Zephyr Hills to be known for skydiving, bottled water, and silter. That's our goal. <laughs> it's a good one. Man. Yeah. <coughs> Get with Zephyr Hill, see if they'll put a little print on the back of the bottles yeah, for you. Know, yeah. You know, I mean, that would probably be something to work out. If you're uh, interested in finding out where we're playing, if you go to our website, silterrocks.com, okay. S-C-I-L-T-E-R, rocks.com, you can check out all our show dates, download some uh, songs, and look at the videos and pictures and all that. Uh, Buy some merchandise? Yeah, that's we got t-shirts available that's online. That's we got a merch store and everything, so... That's exactly why we do this show, to get you guys out there, to get the venues out there, and to sell some merchandise and get your stuff heard. Yeah, yeah. And, and check out our YouTube page. We have over 100,000 views on YouTube. We, you know, we put out some silly videos and, and some, some uh, serious music videos. You know, we did a, uh, a tribute to the Sandy Hooks Elementary. Nice. Uh, we played a song called Bully from Shinedown. We did it acoustic. And uh, we shoot, we do all our own video. Uh, we produce, mix, master all our own music now. We do it all from home, and uh, our next album is going to be all us. Yeah, oh, produced wow. it and tracked it. Man, so y'all do it all. Like man. that song, Candy Cane. We recorded that. And we did all that from our home studio. So, well, before we get going here, or have to wrap it all up and everything. So, anything you like to say to your family or anybody out there? You know, take a chance, take a look at the camera. Silter, Silter Army. Army. Yeah, Silter, Silter Army. Army is our family, and you know. Okay. We uh, Thank you. we love them so much, guys. and uh, we we do something every Sunday. It's called Silter Sunday Fun Day. And when we don't have a show, we get together and we just hang out as a family. And I have the man behind all the the heavy lifting, and uh, yeah, he's the inspiration. He's the backbone to, for why we do this. And a lot of times we just wanted to to just call it quits, and he he pressed us on and, and made us keep doing it. Awesome. I like to thank my family, uh, my mom Rita. Um, my dad, Marshall, 
uh, my sister Alyssa. They've been a great inspiration in my life, and and uh, they've been very uh, they've been they've been behind me in all the decisions that I've made as far as pursu pursuing uh, music as a career. So I'd like to thank them, all my family, and the Silter fans, of course. Yeah, uh, thank these guys first of all, Pop Bear, uh, my daughter Kaylin. Alicia, Jason, everybody else that comes out to every show, Mark Lobster, thank you guys. Awesome, man. You know, that's one of the things, family is very important, and you guys seem like a really strong family. You got, I guess y'all calling him Papa Bear? Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, yep. man. We all got to thank Papa Bear for sure for what he does, you know, for these gentlemen here on Silter and everything. Y'all did two awesome, great songs, man. I wish y'all the best, mm -hmm. you know, Thank you guys for coming and do the show, and uh, anything we can ever do to help y'all get more promotion, we'd love to be able to do it for you. you know, thank you, and, cool, and Thank you. Appreciate it. We and we'd also like to thank you guys for having us on the show. Yeah, as well. Thank you for inviting us. Man, we, we come back and see it. us when the next record drops. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, all right. We're, We're growing. growing. We'll, we'll invite ourselves over for sure. <laughs> yeah. Hey, anytime, excellent. man. Anybody can invite themselves. I'm always for you guys. I'm always behind you in the music business, and I love it. You know, and. I have this passion that I just love what I'm doing. And being able to bring out recognitions to bands that people wouldn't even know. It's like Social Service Cowboys, like Seltzer, I never heard of them, but they're in there checking y'all guys out, you know? Same probably with y'all. You've probably never heard of Social Service Cowboys. Now you have. Um, and I want people out there to do the same thing be able to see the new bands every week. Yeah. Be able to bring it, you know, it's got, we're gotten so packed. We're like booked until end of August, two and three bands per Saturday shift to do this. And I'm very honored because, you know, you guys are are supporting me with this show, you know, as we're trying to support you guys. And it's all about networking and family and, and doing it together. And I love it, man. And, you know, and anything we can ever do for you guys, we'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. You know, and so Ozone, you want to say anything before we go on? Uh, again, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming out and supporting our show. Like he said, anything we can do for you, everything we can do for you, just let us know. Love to show up at the little gig tomorrow and uh, have a cocktail with you guys. Yeah, let's do it. Absolutely. Sounds awesome, good. Man.